This is a remote control for a smart light bulb. With it, I can easily change the color of the light bulb by simply rotating a button on the RGB color wheel. It's a fun and smooth way to transition the light bulb through various colors. You might be wondering what software was used to create this captivating animation. The truth is, it was made using a combination of Nomorphism design style and Morph Transition, all within PowerPoint. If you're intrigued, let's dive into making it together. Let's start by breaking down the page. You'll notice that it consists of nomorphic shapes, a colorful wheel, arrows, and light bulb graphics. While the materials can be sourced online and customized, the essence of the animation lies in crafting the nomorphic shapes. Nomorphism can be achieved through either a concave or convex effect, each requiring slightly different techniques, but both relying on adept shadow adjustments. Let's start by creating the convex effect. First, insert a circle and make a copy of it. Remove the shape's outline, then set the fill color to match the background color. Add an outer shadow to the left circle, with the direction set to top left and the color set to white. Refer to the specific parameters in the operation. Next, add an outer shadow to the right circle, with the direction set to bottom right and the color set to gray. Refer to the specific parameters in the operation. Overlap the two circles completely, and the shape will have a raised texture. Next, let's create the concave effect. Insert a circle and make a copy of it. Remove the shape's outline, then set the fill color to match the background color. Add an inner shadow to the left circle, with the direction set to top left and the color set to gray. Refer to the specific parameters in the operation. Add an inner shadow to the right circle, with the direction set to bottom right and the color set to white. Refer to the specific parameters in the operation. It's important to note that simply overlapping the two shapes won't achieve the concave effect. We need to first convert one of the circles into an image. Cut it, then paste it as an image format and cut it to the clipboard. Set the fill of the other circle to an image or texture fill, click on the clipboard, allowing one shape to have two inner shadows. Now we have created both the convex and concave shapes, and we can continue to use them to create a switch effect. Make a copy of the convex shape, then shrink it slightly. Place it above the large circle as the shape of the button. Search and download free colored circle, arrow, and light bulb elements online, and import them onto the page. Insert the circle into the middle of the larger convex shape, adjusting the size. Add the arrow element to the smaller convex shape, adjusting the angle to use it as an indicator arrow. Combine the small circle and arrow elements together. Continue placing the light bulb in the concave circle. The page is now complete. Next, make three copies of this page. On the first page, Select the small circle to any color and fill the light bulb color with this color. Continue this operation on the second page. Rotate the small circle indicator to yellow and fill the light bulb color with yellow. Using the same method, proceed with the third and fourth pages. After completing the operations, select all pages and add the morph transition effect. Preview the animation. We now have the fun light bulb color adjustment effect at the beginning. The key to this animation is creating nomorphic shapes, which are very simple. If you're drawn to the effects in the video, I encourage you to give it a try yourself. I'm Dream. Feel free to follow my channel for more engaging content.